Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Dorothy, I'm a professional astrologer. You can find me on the web at nhastrologer.com. If you come to my website there, you can sign up to be on my newsletter email list. And every month I pick three people to get a free astrology reading with me. It's a 20 minute session. So come join me there if you haven't done that yet. Also subscribe to this channel and you'll be notified when new videos get posted. I do about 15 every single month. So on February 22nd, what we have is the full moon in the sign of Virgo. It's at three degrees of Virgo. The sun and Neptune are coming to a conjunction as well in the next couple of days. And so we have a very, a, a big height heightened sense of Piscean energy, which is all very spiritual. The energy of this is knowing no boundaries, really tapping into our higher selves and those spiritual realms of things. And when the moon, the full moon is in Virgo, it wants us to take all of these spiritual things and the spiritual practices and all of that and bring it down into the real world. And how can I use my spiritual practices and these things that I know, and the faith that I have, and these unknown things, how can I use this energy and in my everyday living and everyday life? This is what the realization of this full moon can be for some people. So focus in on the details, because that moon of Virgo is hypersensitive to the details and very discriminating. So take things that have been, you know, because a lot of people, you know, when they really start getting into spirituality and all of those things, you know, we're studying everything and it's all just a big mass of, of information collected in our aura, right? And out in these energy fields that we have. And, you know, this is an opportunity for you to actually sit down over a few days and contemplate and meditate and just to understand, well, what's going to work now? Actually, contemplating and meditating isn't really the best way to do that because the moon's in Virgo. So this full moon in Virgo, if you're having this dilemma, this spiritual dilemma, is sit down and actually write everything out. You know, I can do this and this and this, and I have this certificate and that degree. And how can you make that and use these things that you know through all of your spiritual practices? How can you take them and bring them into your daily life and daily living? Because that's what it really is all about. Hardly any of us are going to be those spiritual masters that people see out in the world teaching millions. Most of us just need to be spiritual masters of ourselves. And this is a great opportunity to do that. So you can release the things that you don't need to focus on anymore and know you've integrated them and then take that added information and integrate that now. And you start integrating it. But if you have to, write it down. And I think this is a really great way to use this full moon in the sign of Virgo. All right? Many other ways to use it. You're going to hear lots of different forecasts. So keep listening to the astrology that you love. And I want to thank you very much for listening today. So process those spiritual things, bring it into your everyday life, your everyday living, and see how well your life starts to move forward. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel and you'll be informed of every video that gets posted. I do about 15 every month. The next batch of videos will be all about the eclipses that we have in March. And so that'll be very exciting to see. So thank you once again. Lots of love. Come to my website, read this forecast, get more information there. Namaste.